you use the back sensor on a probot. I'm going to walk you through all the steps. A procedure for when the back bumper gets activated. We're going to do the same thing. Go to menu, go to edit procedure, scroll all the way down, keep going. There's the front, we just did that. Now here's the rear. So click menu and think about that. When the probot bumps into something from behind, instead of going backwards, now we want it to go forward. I'm going to tell it to go forward 15 and turn 90 degrees. So now the probot knows once it bumps into something from the back, it's going to go forward and turn. Now just click menu and you're done. I'm going to tell the probot to go back 20 and then let's see what happens when I put an obstacle behind it. Let's see if our procedure worked. Okay, we've put in the command back 20. Let's see what happens when it hits the obstacle. Let's see. Yep, it goes forward and it should turn. And it did. Our sub-program worked. Now you try. Okay, it's your turn to try it. Make sure you, number one, turn on the sensors. If you forget how, check our first video. Number two, edit the procedure for the back bumper. And number three, write some simple commands that has your probot backing up into an obstacle and see if your edited procedure for the sensor works. Good luck.